ask again. Would you please marry me, Rusia? I fear I must decline. Oh no. May I ask why? I swore to myself I would never fall in love again. I'm sorry, but that's just the way it is. I understand. Then we should consider getting married. Uh, did you bother listening to a single word I said? I heard you. And yet I dare to dream. Well, that's pretty tame, as far as dares go. If we get married, we'll have even more fun, because it's dangerous to go alone. Look, I'm glad you found this sudden surge of confidence, but my answer is still no. Why won't you say yes? Here they come! you waiting behold witness the magnified firepower of my extra buffed up staff amazing master way to take out the mob trash you one hit ko the whole area how much did you drop on that fancy staff of yours? Actually, I think it was from this little magic booster. When you buy 10, they throw in the 11th three. Don't use it on mobs. It's a waste. Then again, perhaps if I had been quicker, we wouldn't have had any unnecessary casualties. <gasps> I'm so sorry, Rusia. I'll bring you back right away. It's fine. What's done is done. Thank you for not holding your death against me. I love you. Uh, sweet. Thanks. At long last, I have found myself a wife. You say the exact same crap every three months, Romeo. Oh, yeah? Isn't your body pillow gonna be jealous? That's different, and you know it. Hey, Nishimura! Got any anime recommendations this season? You bet I do. This season's gonna be extra hot with the Dog Magra Chronicles. You're pretty hardcore into this geek stuff, aren't you? There's no use trying to hide it. Hide it? Hideki's an open otaku, man. So what's the big deal? I'm still into anime and video games. Get over it. Gross. The whole otaku appeal thing is absolutely revolting. How mean! Easy now, Akane. Wait, just think about it. There are wine otakus and flower otakus, you name it. Someone somewhere is nerding out over it. And still you remain disgusting, Nishimura. Hey, take it easy! He doesn't need to hear that. We're all thinking the same, but still! You guys just made it like 20 times worse! How could you say take that about me? Tiger. You couldn't even try to sugarcoat it! Nobody Jeez, Akane! Who would you know, Four Eyes? I'm done listening to this! Okay, listen up! There's an all-school assembly! 
early today. It's time for everyone to head to the gym. Have you guys heard? Maeda in class three told her he loved her. That dude's brave. And? He crashed and burned. Yeah, well, that's what happens. Seriously? Hmm? I thought she'd be just your type. She's all cute and petite and rocking the twin tails. Hmm. If she were the shy, standoffish type, but that chick's just straight up mean. Keep talking like that and I'll punch your lips out your butt. I don't think she's bluffing. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Are you all right? I'm... Oh, no. She didn't have to do that. Good morning, everyone. I'm Student Council President Goshoin. I'd like to extend my gratitude to you all for attending this assembly. Hi, I'm home. The game that we play is an MMORPG called Legendary Age. It gets reduced to LA in most chat channels and game forums. It's a way to have some fun online. Parts of it cost actual money, but the core game is free. With multiple people accessing it at the same time, we can share in adventures in this virtual world. Do it now! So anyway, I declared my love on a pier looking over a romantic sparkling lake. You mean you made the girl come out and say it? Wuss doesn't even begin to describe it. <laughs> I can't believe he made you ask him. <laughs> but he made up for it by giving me this gold ring that increases my resistance to all types of damage. <laughs> hey guys, I pulled those mobs! I'm like the little help! I can't take if you're chatting! Are you okay, Rusian? Am I okay? Not really. Mostly because of your fumbling, Akko. You miss your targets and heal mobs. You get lost because you were too caught up in chatting. Do you have any idea what my armor repair costs have been because of you? Look, I'm really sorry. Well, my experience points were barely on the plus side, so it's no big deal. <laughs> Rusian, you're so kind. Uh, I, uh, you're an armored knight. Tanking is your responsibility. Though, even when you die, it doesn't affect this bad mamma jamma in the slightest. If only our attacker knew what they were doing, then this wouldn't be a problem. You sucking's my fault? <laughs> Just feel free to leave the mob annihilation to yours truly. I can do it. As long as I have my stash of pricey real money buffing items and artifacts, it won't be a problem. Lousy, stinking premium player scum. It's been nearly a year since the four of us formed this guild. We've done a lot of questing together. We get along pretty well, which makes playing together more fun. And Akko here is, for lack of a better term, my waifu. Although our marriage is only in the game. I just couldn't bring myself to turn her down again after the last time she proposed to me. So, in this fantasy world, I have a beautiful wife. Which does not match my luck with women in real life. I am now speaking directly into your mind so that we can have a little privacy. <laughs> this is no time to be chatting with the other guild members. Instead, you should be paying attention to your loving wife. Your loving wife. Akko? Your loving Hello? wife. Your wife. Man, she's always doing things her way. Seems like the two of you are stuck together like glue today, huh? It's just because Akko won't leave me alone. <laughs> Like a couple normies. It's not real life, okay? It's just in the game, you get me? Hmm, sure, I guess. Now that I think of it, I might be the biggest normie in the whole group. The other day, someone declared their love for me IRL. For real? Uh-huh. Shu must be a real looker. I always had a hunch. I know I shouldn't be, but I'm getting jealous. Wow, really? Good-looking guys can all piss off. Why don't you just shove off and die? Huh? Akko? Freaking normies are the absolute worst. And anybody who gets confessed to ought to just get out of the game. Just being close to one of them makes me sick to my stomach. And those are the people who can die off. They're nothing more than a plague on the rest of us. <laughs> I said no, you psycho! This bad mamma jamma ain't got time for that stuff! You're creeping us all out. Calm down. 
Hey, Yako, come back to us! I freaking hate normie losers, too, but you shouldn't take it out on your guildmates. Please forgive me, you guys. Sure, but I get what you were saying about normies. I feel the same way as you. By and large, I concur. <sighs> this guild is too bent out of shape. Mm -hmm. I don't know. We've enjoyed some peace and quiet for a couple minutes now. All right, fine! I'll just say it! Time after time, Brucey had rejected my love-filled proposals to join together in the bliss of digital matrimony! The stress of it all was shortening my life like a DOT! In the end, it all worked out okay, didn't it? But it's all about the journey! I made ten proposals and you turned me down each time! Ten times! Don't you have any common decency? Right, I get it. What say we just do a hard reset and start over from our first conversation? Ugh. I was only kidding, my darling! I'm sorry! Please don't divorce me! I'm begging you! I'm hey, why didn't you say yes the first time she asked? In-game marriages are dumb. It's a role-playing mechanic I could do without. It's an online game, not the real flesh-and-blood world. <laughs> it's not like you have a shot at getting married in real life anyway. <laughs> Might as well go through with it in game. So where do we draw the line? With AI babes? I know the real reason. Rusian once asked another player to get married here in the gay world. <laughs> you did? Oh. Oh, girl, how could you say that? I was trying to keep that a secret! <laughs> you have to tell us now, obviously. I'm begging you, my lady. Marry me! Give me thine hand! I'm afraid you'll have to count me out! <sighs> I swear I am in love with you! <sighs> Sorry, but I'm actually a guy in real life. I'm a middle-aged dude! At first I wanted to ogle a sexy avatar, but then I got caught up in cross-playing! Huh? I mean, what chick would say meow puns in real life? Not the kind of girl you'd want to date! <laughs> Damn it! Damn it! I swear I will never trust another girl I meet on the net again! For as long as I live! <laughs> you guys don't have to laugh that hard! The chapter of your life is beyond dark! Oh, the majesty of young love! <laughs> Fart knockers. The thing is, Nekohime, the girl I first declared my love to, was super cute, had good taste in equipment, was nice to everyone she played with, and played well. She was the ideal girl. I mean, girl character. The sheer shock of her revelation was devastating, to the point that I left the guild I was with, and for nearly a year after, I stuck with solo play exclusively. Then, in my solitude, I arrived at a certain truth. Who cares, as long as they're cute? Even if they are dudes in real life, I don't care, as long as they're cute in-game. Ultimately, it was the cuteness in the game I was enamored with. Yes, I discovered the horrible truth lurking on the web. Rusian, are you mad at me? For telling everyone what happened with you and that cat girl? That kind of stuff happens all the time, so don't worry. Thank you so much, Rusian. I love you. Huh. Huh. Just calm down. You gotta cool it, Hideki. You know from experience that if you take it too seriously, you'll only regret it. It makes sense. Now I see why you were so hesitant to agree. All this spouse stuff has nothing to do with me in real life. But in the world of the game, Akko is Akko. Just so you know, I actually am female. Yeah, fine. If you say so, then you are. At least to you, that is. No, no. In real life, I'm a nerdy nose-in-her-book kind of girl. Whoa, hold on. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't admit something like that in open chat, Akko. It's the greatest net taboo of all. I had no idea. <laughs> Taboos are ludicrous. I, for example, I'm a high school girl in real life. You, Master? A high school girl? With that premium gear? Not a chance. Impossible. Seriously, no way. I'm pouring my heart out to my friends, and this is how you treat me. Actually, admitting it feels kind of nice. But what if we did this? Guild Alley Cats first offline get together? To be held in real life? Guess they aren't here yet. And what are the odds that we're all pretty local? We've been a guild for almost a year now and never knew? I'm by the big tree in front of the station. 
in a white t-shirt. Excuse me? Rusian? <clears throat> um, yeah. That's me. I'm Rusian. I... I knew it was you. And I'm... Uh, Akko. From the game? Real Akko. Yes. You're a girl. In real life, you aren't just pretending. Rusia? Yeah? Ah. Wow, Rusia! Uh. It's really you, my husband Rusia, live in the flesh! Ooh, let's stop calling me by my username! What if someone I know sees us? You're Rusia? Huh? Nishimura? You're him? Wait! Sekoa! You already know uh. each other? Uh. Um, kinda. I mean, I've seen him before. Well, I'm glad to see everyone got here safely. It's you. Madam President? Not today. I'm not here as the student council president. But as the Alley Cats Guildmaster, the Wizard Apricot! Uh -huh. You must be Rusian, and the one clinging to you, I assume, is Akko. Yeah, that's right. Wait, you said everyone. Uh you? Your Schwein? Oh, hi, Shu. It's a pleasure to meet you. No, don't call me that in public! No way. That's exactly what I was going to say! <laughs> All right. It's time for the Guild Alley Cat's first offline get together. Let's have fun. Oh, Rusian, it's you. I can barely believe it. You're warm and everything. You're making it sound like I'm a mannequin that came to life or something. Rusian, Rusian, mighty noble Rusian. Please cut it out. <laughs> he just see it all right. <laughs> How can you still be that happy after he just treated you so rudely? Now then, let's start off with proper introductions. My name is Kyo Goshuin. I'm a second year at Maegasaki High and the student council president. I came by on my way home from school, so excuse me for not dressing to the occasion. We're already good friends, but we're also meeting for the first time. Thus, as questing has forged our bonds of friendship, may socializing take it to the next level. Now it's your turn. Huh. Wait, me? I'm Akane Segawa. I'm a first year at Maegasaki, and... And well, here I am. I understand, Schwein. It must be embarrassing to go by a name like that in such a public place. Huh? Your name, Schwein, is actually the German word for pig. I doubt there are many young ladies out there who would want to say, Hello, my name is Pig. It's a pleasure to meet you. No way. A pig? Schwein? I take it you've been using the name without knowing. you chose a joke name on purpose. <laughs> That's right! I'm the one you call Schwein! And anyone who starts calling me Pig gets stuck like a pig! That's all! All right then, Rusian? Okay. So, hi there. I'm... I'm Rusian. It's totally embarrassing to introduce myself as my character. Don't worry, Nishimura. Your existence is an embarrassment. That's mean! <sighs> Where was I? My name's Hideki Nishimura. I'm also a first year at Maegasaki, but I'm not in any clubs. No special talents. My hobbies are uh, online gaming. And that's it. Hi, my name is Akko. I always end up as a burden on you in legendary age. I'm sorry. Oh, and I'm also a first year student at the same high school as the rest of you. Huh? So then we're classmates? That's right. I was pleasantly surprised as well. My full name is Akko Tamaki, so you can just keep calling me Akko like you always have. They're the same? Yes. Why, is that unusual? Well, it's kind of a net safety issue. Don't worry about it. <laughs> How totally Akko. I'm not involved in any clubs. And I don't really have any friends at school. Huh? I tend to sit alone, which gets the attention of the other students. Huh? 
<laughs> it's all right, Akko. I'm student council president, and I don't have any friends either. Hey, think about this. The four of us are friends. Yeah, he's right. I really appreciate it, you guys. I'm so happy to have friends that I can talk to. Friends that I can have fun with. I can't wait to see how far our guild can go. Oh, yeah. Segawa. What now? When we were chatting in the guild hall the other day, you were telling us that some guy declared his love for you in real life, right? Yeah, that's right. So what about it? <laughs> I just think it's kind of funny. Little Miss Popularity. Not really. She was a total normie. She was a total normie. She hey, was a total Akko? Normie. Interesting. Let the record show that Schwein, unlike the rest of us, is a verified normie. You should pick us up in your minivan next time. <laughs> Master, you too? Like I already said, I told the guy no. I'm not interested in going out with anyone. I've been told that Maeda from Class 3 is pretty popular with the ladies. Is he just not your type? It, it's not that. If I had a dumb boyfriend, it would cut into my time uh, playing video games. That's why you turned him down? You wouldn't seriously want something like that, would you? Definitely not for me. I'd turn him down. You genuinely would rather play video games? Damn straight. You got a problem with that? Nope. I definitely prefer this to who you are at school. I don't think I should take that statement as a compliment. I may have an idea to turn that around. So, Shu, have you ever considered getting married in the game? Rusin and I did, and we've been having fun uh, ever uh, hey. since. You wouldn't lose any gaming time that way. Plus, you'd be spending time with the one you love. It's a total twofer. I think I'll pass, thanks. It sounds gross. That's mean. <gasps> I think it's a great idea. Right, Rusian? Uh, yeah, but I can still hardly believe it myself. Huh? Akko, you're so... <laughs> I have a living, breathing girl as my 2D wife. Forward in episode one, but you're taking it too far the other way, Rusia. I'm not the heroine here. 